Hello everyone. Today we are going to see about rules for filling electrons in different kind of orbitals. Previously, we already have studied regarding to the fundamental structure of an atom. According to the fundamental structure of an atom, we already also have studied the concept of shells, subshells and orbitals. Now, we can see it here how the electrons can fill in these kind of orbitals. Let us see. For filling electrons in every orbitals, we are supposed to follow these three principles. One is the Aubau principle, second one is the Pauli's exclusion rule and third one is the Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity. Now according to that, let us we see one by one. Now first one is nothing but a Aubau principle. Aubau is nothing but Aubau is a German language word. What is the meaning of Aubau according to our English? In case of Aubau, in terms of English, it's nothing but a building up. So what do we have to build up? We have to build up. That means we are going to build something in an upward direction. Now what, it, what is it? We are going to build according to this principle a pyramid. That pyramid is the very much fundamental part to understand and to remember for everyone who is supposed to know how to fill the electrons in orbitals. So just see the procedure how to just build up this pyramid first. Now next one. As we are having the concept of shells, subshells and orbitals, we are seeing electrons filling in orbitals. But orbitals are coming from subshells. So which is the first subshell that we are knowing? That is nothing but a S subshell. Next one, P subshell. Next one, D subshell. And next one, S subshell. The same arrangement we can use it here for the Aubau principle. How? Let us see. Now as we know this all whether it is the orbitals, subshells, these all are the subparticles of shells. So we can consider first a number of shells. Now how many number of shells we can take? Because in according to the presence of periodic table that we are studying nowadays, that periodic table having seven periods. So we can take eight number of shells as for consideration. So first one, we are having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. These eight are nothing but a sub. A number of shells. Now, what is the first subshell? S. So we can write it 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, 7s, and 8s. Now, as we are saying previously, we are going to build up a pyramid. A pyramid of subshells. So, what is the pyramid? Pyramid is nothing but a triangular form. That means, as we are forming here a base, so we are going to build up towards the apex part. That means, we have to omit one one part from the both sides. So, just omit from this side 1s and this one 8s. So, how many numbers are remaining? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 like that again go for omitting one one number so 3 4 5 and 6 still we are not reaching towards the apex part so keep on moving so next one one part here one part here we are omitting so what is remaining 4 and 5 so now we are having the apex. We are reaching towards the apex but these numbers are only a number of shells so let us we uh, let us we put a sh subshells there. Now first subshell was S. So we were putting S over here. Now next one is P. So put a P here. 2P, 3P, 4P, 5P, 6P and 7P. Next orbital, next subshell is nothing but a D. So put it here 3D, 4D, 5D and 6D. What is the next subshell? That is F. 
so put it here 4f and 5f now this is what the pyramid that we almost have completed but how can we study this pyramid for the filling of electrons in orbitals let us see now if we can make a line over here all lines are showing a downward nature that means all lines are moving towards a downward part so how to read it we can start reading from here so first line which is coming downward is having only one s so we are having one s next one is is having two s third one is having two p three s like that that's three p four s 3d 4p 5s 4d 5p 6s and go on so we can use this pyramid for filling electrons in orbitals how is it let us see if we have to go for a electronic configuration of lithium lithium is having atomic number only three so we can make an electronic configuration by using this Aubau principle. According to Aubau principle, the first part, the first line is having 1s. So we can put it here 1s. Second one is having 2s. So we can put it here 2s like that. Now what it is exactly, we can come later on, later on towards it. Now after this Aubau principle, let us we move towards the Pauli's exclusion rule. Now, what is this Pauli's exclusion rule? According to Aubau, we are knowing that the pyramid is giving a fundamental knowledge for us to fill in electrons in orbitals. But according to Pauli, it is again an important structure. Just remember what we are studying over here. In case of any subshells, those are containing orbitals. Let us take an example of S. So S is having one orbital, P is having three orbital like that. But in each orbitals, how the electrons can arrange? This is the question. So that question is going to answer by Pauli. Each electron which is going to fill into these orbitals can have an opposite spin. But how opposite spin? Let us see. Each electron can symbolize by using an arrow. If it is full headed arrow or if it is half headed arrow. That means completely arrow or half arrow. This is the symbolization of electron. Whenever there is ascending electron, it has a value of plus half whether it is a descending electron it has a value of minus half we can also draw it here half arrow here it is again half arrow so this is what the opposite spin that means whenever this opposite spin electrons come to each other so they can form like this that means they are forming a pair of electrons. So this is the same thing that Pauli's exclusion rule tells us that every electron which is going to fill into the orbitals can fill up by opposite spin. That means one electron in one orbital is ascending. So obviously another electron in that particular orbital is supposed to be a descending one. So this is was the Pauli's exclusion rule. Let us we move towards the Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity. Just by reading this name, maximum multiplicity, we can easily predict this rule. Now maximum, that means the highest capacity. Multiplicity, how many multiple number of electrons are there? So this is what the question. Now this question only arise for those subshells, they are having more number of orbitals. Because if we take an example of S subshell which is having one orbital, there is no any question for filling electrons. But whenever we can take an example of P subshell which is having three orbitals, D subshell which is having five orbitals and so on increasing. 
like that we can see it what is it now Hearn's rule of maximum multiplicity let us see for p sub shell which are having three orbitals so for filling electron in these orbitals we can use a rule like that if we have to fill four orbitals in this p sub shell which is having only three orbitals so how can we put it here first electron in first orbital second electron in second orbital and third electron in third orbital whenever we have finished a filling of electron in each orbital sing by single single electrons then only we can start a pairing of an electron we cannot make a pairing like this suppose if we have to pair if we have to fill four electrons in p sub shell so we cannot draw like this one two and three four this is the wrong method we always have to follow the Hunt's rule that means first how many orbitals are present that we have to consider each orbital supposed to contain one one electron each when the all orbitals of those particular shells are having one electron each then only draw for start pairing those electrons now according to Pauli, as we are having the knowledge that each orbital supposed to contain only two electrons that means one is ascending and one is descending so let us we revise according to our bow principle we are having one pyramid which is helping us to know the energies in their increasing orders for filling electrons in particular orbitals in case of Pauli's exclusion rule, we are having the information that each orbital should contain two only maximum two electrons in which one supposed to be ascending, one supposed to be descending. That means they're supposed to have a opposite swing. In case of Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity, we can put the electron or we can fill the electrons in orbitals just by this rule only that means we cannot go for pairing electrons before filling one one electron in each orbitals so let us we merge all these three rules and let us have some example so we already have taken example of lithium at the previous part as we were saying that atomic number for lithium is nothing but a three so for this three first according to our bow the first part is the one s so one s now in case of s so s sub shell is having only one orbital and capacity of one orbital is two so we can put it here two that means we are having two electrons we can also symbolize it by having one orbital just because of s sub shell so it is having only one orbital which is containing maximum two electron with opposite spin now next one what it is let us see now this is what nothing but this is 1s and this is 2s so now 2s again there is a s so there is one orbital this one orbital again having capacity to fill two electrons but how many electrons are there in totality for lithium lithium is having atomic number three that means it has only three electrons we already have put this two electron into 2s so we can put only one electron into this 2s so this is what about the filling of electrons in orbitals thank you